Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Wednesday, May 6, 2020. It is 1.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And if you're wondering why I have two sores on my face, it's because I cut myself shaving. Normally I use an electric razor, and I tried using a disposable razor, and it just ended up cutting up my face. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick update on how I'm dealing with the coronavirus and my mental health. One of the things I've noticed here in Rochester, New York, is when I go to the supermarket or even Dollar General, they're having food shortages and prices are going up on meat. That includes pork, beef, poultry, um, ham, uh, lamb, that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of the food plants that process meat in different parts of the United States, some of the plants are shut down to due to coronavirus cases being... Um, very prevalent in the staff that work in meat processing plants. And so the prices of meat are going up. I went to shop for food both at Dollar General and the supermarket, and both of them have shortages of meat products. And Dollar General people have been buying and hoarding things like bacon. Um, uh, Dollar General really doesn't sell fresh cut meat, but the meat they do have that's prepackaged for like sausages, sandwiches that kind of thing um prices are going up or they're not even available i went into dollar general today and a lot of their frozen food section was empty because people have been buying up stuff um and the food that i had as a selection at dollar general was pretty limited it was somewhat limited at the supermarket the local supermarket i go to is price rate and um, supermarkets and they have a shortage of meat and are putting limits on how much meat you can buy and prices are going up and so food shortages are starting to happen in the united states and prices are starting to go up the food is available but the farmers say they have no way of getting it to the consumers because of the covid 19 coronavirus epidemic so i've noticed that buying food is coming down to just buying what's available I bought a lot of canned food that I would not normally eat, but food is food. You eat what you got, and you make do with what you have, and that's about all you can do. I mean, there will always be food in the supermarkets in the United States. It's just that some of the products will be in short supply, and prices will go up and um, until the meat packing plants, processing plants are back in operating condition. The company that got hit biggest, I think, by the coronavirus is Tyson Foods. Um, I believe that's an American-based company that produces meat in the United States for their own product line as well as for other businesses. Um, and they had like 500 cases of coronavirus in just one meat processing plant alone. And other processing plants that process meat have also been going through the same thing. So there's a shortage of meat. Um, some farmers were talking about they would have to destroy their animals if they weren't able to slaughter them and sell them for food. They were talking about euthanasia for their animals because they have no way of getting the food to the supermarkets. Um, so it's a big mess. And I noticed that places like Dollar General and even Walgreens and price rate, prices of meat are going up. Limitations on how much meat you can buy is being um, put on the consumer, the buyer. And um, so that's one of the things I'm dealing with. I went to Walmart, or not Walmart, um, Dollar General, and bought the food that they had available. I mean, I'm not complaining. I have money and I have food stamps to buy food, and my bills are all paid. And like I said, you, you're grateful for what you have, and you make do with what you got, and that's about all you can do. Um, but for now, that's all for now. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I don't ask for money to do these videos. So if you want to help me out, just share my videos on social media sites. And take care of yourselves and each other. And make sure you press the notification bell. Because even if you just subscribe to me, you may not know that I put out a new video. Unless you push the notification bell down in the corner of this video.